Hi there, and it's good to see you on Tuesday's webisode of Hoo-Ha Sports Today. We hope that you're enjoying the visuals on yesterday's special edition from the football friendly between the Premier League Sporters Club ahead of the three EPL clubs' visit to Malaysia. So today we focus on some transfer news from the Premier League and also look at the Wimbledon Tennis Grand Slam event which got underway yesterday. So let's begin with that. In day one of the competition, all of the top seeds made it through without any notable major upsets. Let's first glance at some of the women's results from yesterday. Today. In the ladies' draw, as they call it in Wimbledon, French Open finalist Francesca Schiavone defeated Australia's Jelena Dokic in 6-4, 1-6 and 6-3. While returning to a Grand Slam event after a long layoff, former champ Venus Williams just needed an hour to dispose of Uzbekistan's Abgul Aman Muradova in straight sets. Second seeded Vera Zvonareva was given a first set scare before taking the next two to defeat American Alison Risk. Others who have progressed to the next round are Yanina Wigmayer, Svetlana. Anna Kuznetsova and Sara Irani, who beat 17 seed Kaya Kanapi. Alexandra Dulgeru is also through along with veteran Kimiko Date Krum, who set up a Date with Venus Williams in the second round. Today's draw will see world and number one seed Caroline Wozniacki back on the hunt for first Grand Slam title, and she'll be going up against Arancha Para Sanchez. While hot off a French Open win, Lina will face Ala Kudrivatseva from Russia. Serena Williams is back to competition as well and has French last Aravan Rezai as her opponent today. Others who will take to the courts are Maria Sharapova, Anna Ivanovic, Ford seed Victoria Azarenka, Australia's Samantha Stosa and Yelena Jankovic. Over in the men's tie, world number one Rafael Nadal and home favourite Andy Murray progress to round two. While all eyes will be on a replay of last year's epic duel. First up, results from the men's draw. Nadal claimed a straight set to win over American Michael Russell, while Murray had to deal with a four-setter against Spain's Daniel Gimeno Traver. Also through were Thomas Berdic, Game on Fee, and Marty Fish, while Frenchman Julien Benetou was stretched to five sets by Rubens Bimalmans of Belgium, which could affect his performance in the next rounds. But there, also, there were no problems for Stanislas Wawrinka and Feliciano Lopez as they progressed with straight set wins. And today's draw will see Novak Djokovic refocusing his bid to win the title an inch closer to Nadal's number one ranking, while Federer is always a threat when he is on grass and will take on Russian Mikhail Kukushkin. Robin Sobling will meet uh, Philip Pachner as David Ferrer, Andy Roddick and Leighton Hewitt are expected to progress to the next round. But today's highlight will be the rematch of last year's epic battle between John Isner and Nicholas Mahu, who played themselves into the record books for the longest tennis match in history, lasting three days. The match was eventually won by Isner in 6-4, 3-6, 6-7, 7-6 7-68 in the fifth set, taking 11 hours and 5 minutes to complete, to which the All-England club placed a plaque at court number 18 to commemorate that match. Will it happen again? Nah, I don't think so. However, Mahu will want to avenge that defeat and I think he will in probably two hours or so. More tennis from Wimbledon tomorrow. Time for football and Premier League transfer news. We had a response to our Friday's edition from the Johnny Jim who wants to know what's happening with Luka Modric, Sami Nasri, Wesley Schneider and Alexis Sanchez. Sounds like the Johnny Jim is a Manchester United fan as all these players are linked with the move to Old Trafford. But as it stands, United have yet to make an official bid for these guys. As mentioned in Friday's webisode, Tottenham ridiculed Chelsea's apparent £22 million bid while Spurs chairman Daniel Levy came out to say Modric is not for sale at any price. But the Croatian is bent on moving to a club that's in the Champions League competition, with Stamford Bridge as his preferred destination. News on Samir Nasri's and Wesley Schneider's move is still cold. However, Udinese's Chilean midfielder Alexis Sanchez looks set to be heading to Barcelona for a staggering £33.3 million. But stop the press. Guess who's looking at hijacking the deal? Manchester City. They are preparing a last-ditch attempt offering £35.5 million. But just think about it. Udinese signed him in 2006 for just £1.6 million. Now that's a good return on their investment. But Udinese's valuation of the Chilean is about £45 million. And I say, why not? But things will become clearer after this week, as most who are on the transfer target, including managers, will be back from their summer holidays and we will begin to see some significant movements. But I'll keep my eye on this emerging news on Tottenham's Brazilian, Sandro who is now being courted by Real Madrid and they are willing to provide Harry Redknapp a renew reunion with his former signing at Portsmouth, Lassana Diara, who is going the other way and who's hitting 
may not be taking the seat at Chelsea after all. So, who will it be? More in the days ahead. Until then, I'm Patrick for Hoo Ha Sports saying thanks for logging on. But from the team and I, it's bye for now.